All the rumors. All the speculations. Holiday season. Got them. YouTube family. What is going on, man? Yes, yes. I hear the chatters, man. Hey. It's a lot of talk, it's a lot of speculations going on about these shoes, man. We already know what happened, and um, it's a crazy situation, but hey, we gotta review it. We gotta talk about it, man, but uh, it's your boy, Jay. If you do not know, man, hey, we need y'all to stick around, join the fam, man. Hit that subscribe button, roll to 100K, and um, hey, we on our way, man. Um, thank y'all as always for rocking out with your boy, Jay. Today, today, y'all seen the intro. Y'all already know what the video is about, man. We got the Air Jordan 11 Cherry Highs, which are set to release in December. Man, December and September, man. Look, we already got them, man. Yes, this shoe was uh provided by the homie. Bird Kicks, man. If you do not know who the homie Bird is, man, y'all need to check him out. Give him a follow over on Instagram, and um, he will get you straight. Make sure that you have your money right, though, because, hey, he has a 100% legit product. Hey, he'll take care of you. Just make sure you come correct, man. But, yes, we're about to talk about those 11s. Before we do, man, make sure that you guys are traveling in the right way. As always, grab yourselves a Soul Premise bag. I do have a link down below in the description. That will save you a good amount off those bags, man. Trust me, they're good for your daily uses or if you're going on any trips best sneaker head or all around bag out there man good premium quality on them so definitely check them out also give soul premise a follow over on instagram and on um, other than that man we're gonna dive right into these 11s that uh people are calling the memphis 11s what? let's talk about it okay okay bang here they go man the air jordan 11 cherries man so this is the first time we have seen this shoe in a high form this is the holiday shoe of 2022 of course man and um yeah man we got them man and um in my opinion they are they're pretty clean man it actually was a shoe that i wasn't really looking too forward to but of course man when you get them in hand and you get to see you know what i'm saying them you know just right there you know what i'm saying it, it kind of persuades you or changes your mind a little bit because you see the potential in the shoe and what you could do with it man um pictures wasn't doing these justice for me um i think that uh they just they just a clean looking at jordan 11 and you really can't go wrong with jordan 11 man jordan 11s are really one of the most easiest shoes to uh to to dress up dress down it's an all-around shoe you know what i'm saying you could put on a tuxedo with these you could put on some gym shorts with these you could put on some slacks like it's it's Endless possibilities of what you can do with Jordan 11s because of just the the sleek, casual um, look of the shoe, man. Very dope, man. But yes, I do have a pair here, and as you can see, nice icy icy outsole on the shoe. We're not gonna get into a detail review because I don't know. I might, I might, I might, I might get myself an early pair of these, man. Um, speaking of these shoes, man, they have froze all the sales of this shoe as far as on eBay, Goat, StockX, they have froze all sales of this shoe due to what happened over in Memphis, man. So that's kind of a, a, a big deal, man. If you sold any shoes on them, man, I'd be like biting nails right now, man. Um, I, I don't know. Hey, be careful out there, y'all. But yeah, man, Um, as you can see, I like the red interior um, sock liner. Not simply for the look of it because I think it actually would have looked better with a white sock liner. But... I like the red because it does kind of let you wear whatever socks you want to wear without it getting dirty, man. So I do like when they do pull a color inside of the sock liner area, man. And um, yes, man, like I did say, official, official, official pair right here. They will come with Widow's Peaks, as you can see right there. You got one right there. You do have one on the side as well. I think it's somewhere around here. You got another Widow's Peak, and you will get one right there on the inside. So you got three Widow's Peaks on this shoe. And um, jump man, five fingers, five toes, you know what I'm saying? You do have on this like Vinland style two, three. It is not stitched, you know, although I prefer the stitched back tab right here back, but um, I'll take it the way it is. I'm not I'm not tripping off it. Um, you can see third spacing. You do have that jump man Jordan symbolization right there. White laces, the only laces that come with this shoe, but I do see 
some cherry red laces popping. Some red laces will pop even black. Some black laces will pop, give it a nice Chicago, uh, you know what I'm saying, colorway style. And I think that these are, these are dope, man. They, they dope. They definitely not bad on um, clean holiday shoe. The last time we seen these, and the only time we seen these was in a the low top version. We have never seen these in a the high top version. And of course, it does have the high cut patent leather on it, man. So yes, man, let it sink in, man. The Air Jordan 11 cherries are in the building, set to release, I think it's what, December 10th, I wanna say is the date. If I'm wrong, I will correct it on the screen, but I'm, I'm guessing, I think if I, cause it, it'd be so many shoes, so many dates, but I'm, I'm thinking that these were December 10th, but y'all let me know your thoughts on these. And um, I was thinking was what happened with these shoes because I know maybe thousands of pairs of these were, were you know what I'm saying, taken from that Nike warehouse in Memphis. But um, I don't think that it will affect the, uh, the release of this shoe that much because if you know about Jordan 11s every year the stock numbers of the Jordan 11s go up as far as the amount they release during the holiday season so last year they say it was close to what um, uh, a million and a half almost two million you know what I'm saying on the cool gray 11 so this one is not gonna be nothing less I mean it might be around the same stock number if not more so if you take away a thousand two thousand of these which I don't want to say that two thousand got stolen but if it was two thousand to a half or a million and a half that's that's not that much of a margin man so i don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal come december but hey y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on the jordan 11 cherry highs and the situation behind them man but yeah man like i did say i might grab a personal of these early so i can throw them on feet show y'all a good early look of them and um yeah man you know swap them out do all that good stuff man so make sure y'all hit that subscribe button give this video a like so your boy can keep hitting y'all with these videos man but um yeah man what y'all want to see next man what shoes are y'all looking forward to y'all let me know but the air jordan 11 cherries coming soon y'all let me know they not bad man but um i'm gonna get at y'all in the next video y'all stay blessed i am gone man peace Oh, no. We the ones originated, yeah. so you better show up with that payment. Yeah. Always pure, these suckers tainted. Yeah. That's the picture that they painted, yeah. but they fake. They, they UA. UA. Just take the stick and no food gates. Yeah. Swap out the lace and my flu games. Yeah. Mr. Swap it out, he got two names. Two yeah, yeah. Just a little info for your kin folk, just in case they didn't know it. Yeah. Yeah. Made a couple bandos for my handles, better ball don't blow it. Oh. Oh. Challenger, master flow, tinted windows on my go head floors. <laughs> Tryna catch me slacking, but he swag a jack and bruh, and I gotta report it. Sneak game. Bang! Sneak game. Sneak game. Sneak game.